All right, uh, this is Henry Diodu Apiagran. Um, I want to have a short, um, important, revelational knowledge with you and practical and experiential knowledge with you on how I was able to write um, over 40 books within three years. As at now, by God's grace, I have over 50, I was 50 to 60, getting 70 books as at now, and I have over 400 articles on my blog. And I'm going to share with you some of my uh, writing principles that help me to write all these many books. And it is possible if I did it, you can also do it. I encourage you to, to download my free book, How I Wrote Over 40 Books and Over 400 Articles Within Three Years. It's a free book on my blog. Uh, you can also download the book on Amazon as well, How I Wrote Over uh, 40 books and over, I think, 350 articles within three years by Henry Diodu Apiakran. It's a very practical book, experiential knowledge. I've shared how I was able to write uh, my books. I also wrote another book titled How to Write and Publish Books. How to Write and Publish Books. Initially, I have an audio book for the first book. Uh, that is how I wrote over 40 books. It's an audio book also available on all online um, audio bookstores, you can also get a book as a there for now, and uh, you can also check on other channels, they are all free, and then get it for yourself. And then listen to the audio book or buy the PDF or, or download the free EPUB or the PDF and connect to become a very wise person. So, uh, this is Henry Diodu Apiakran once again. I, want, I just want to uh, briefly share with you how I write my books how I write my articles and then how I go uh, in my journey of um, the altar lifestyle. So the first thing that um, you have to know, what I do is that I first, um, most often ideas comes into my mind. Most often I can be praying and then the idea just comes. Sometimes I can just be sitting there and the idea will just drop into my mind. When this happens, what I do is that I write the idea in my uh, notepad on my phone. I jot the ideas down. So after I write the ideas down, uh, sometimes whilst I'm reading the Bible, whilst I'm having time with the Word of God, the ideas can just enter and then I write the ideas down. Also sometimes too, whilst I am listening to messages, the Word of God, um, the ideas can just drop into my mind. When ideas come, I write the ideas down. That is um, what helps me. I write the ideas down either on my notepad, on my phone, either on my laptop, either in my book, or wherever I can find a place to write the idea down. I write the idea down so that I will come back and then um, uh, build on those ideas. So what I do is that after the ideas come, I write them down. Then secondly, I get time to sit down and then build on those ideas. That is one of the things that help me to write many books and many articles. Number two is that this one will apply for Christian writers or religious writers. You can also apply them to you as well. Uh, whether you are a non-fiction writer, a fictional writer, whatever Jaina die or whatever book you write, this point I'm about to share with you, this point is specifically for Christian authors. So uh, keep listening. I'm going to share more of my writing principles with you. This point is for Christian authors. Now, I pray more in the Spirit. I pray more in the Holy Ghost. When I pray more in the Spirit, the Holy Ghost gives me the ideas to write. So whilst I am praying in the Spirit, whilst I am praying in the Holy Ghost, Whilst I'm praying in my chamber, in my corner, the ideas just flow into my spirit, into my soul. So when the ideas come, most often my phone is on me, so I'll be writing the ideas whilst I'm praying. I'll be writing the ideas whilst I'm praying. So after I write the ideas, after my prayers, I go back to build on those um, ideas. Now, the next thing what I do is that... Um, uh, I am very principled by God's grace. I'm very disciplined by God's grace. I discipline myself. I don't postpone my time. When I decide to write, I sit down and I write. 
all the books that you see on um, on online on amazon on my blog the articles you use there you see there with my name i type them i sat down i type them by myself some of them i wrote them in my exercise books or in my notebook and i transferred them to my laptop i type them by myself i sat on my on my buttons with my laptop and i was typing them and writing them so in my writing journey what i do is that i'll write the drafts then i'll after writing it i'll go back and then read it again and then re-edit what i've written so when i edit what i've written i can add more knowledge or more um information to what i've written the more i edit i can add more value to what i've written so for example let's say i'm writing a book uh, i write the first chapter and one thing about me is that i can sit hours to write a book if i decide if i decide to write a book by god's grace i can use even let's say um six to 12 hours to write a book i can sit down for about six hours and i'll be writing i just rise a little and to just exercise myself for a few minutes and i come back to my seat and i'll be writing i'll be writing i'll be writing i'll be editing so when i write i read through after writing all oh, i don't i write everything what i want to write and i'll start again and I'll read through everything and I'll edit it. I have software that I use to um, edit uh, the corrections or to edit out the errors in the book. I use Grammarly uh, Premium. I also used to use Pro Writing Aid that helps me as well. But my main editing software that I use to edit my writing on my books that I use Grammarly Premium. We have the free version. I have integrated the Grammarly into my Word. I use uh, Microsoft Word to type my books. Mm. I use Microsoft Word to type my books. So I've integrated the Grammarly Premium or the Grammarly software into my Microsoft Word. So after I have written, after I've edited, I have I'll read through several times, sometimes over four to five to six, seven times, several times. And then I edit it, and after I've done everything, and I, I set or I turn on my internet with my modem. Sometimes I can go to a, a Wi-Fi center or an internet cafe. But most often I use my modem. I buy uh, internet data or broadband, and then I connect to the internet because Grammarly needs an internet connection to uh, help you edit the punctuation. The um, the writing, the, it does many things in your writing, uh, so it helps me to, to write better. So after I use Grammarly to uh, edit my articles and my books, I still read through again. I still read through again and then I do many corrections and uh, it helps me in that way. So what happens is that I don't play with my time, I don't joke with my time, I don't have time to joke around, although I have friends. but. When it comes to writing, I can sit down and then do it. So if you want to become a writer, then you must be disciplined. You must sit down. You must not be lazy. Don't be uh, postponing things or don't be procrastinating. No, you have to sit down and then write. You have to what? You have to discipline yourself, be consistent. Sometimes you'll be tired. Sometimes I become weary. Sometimes I become very tired, but I still press on to write because see that the writing journey is somehow very distressful. It's very, very stressful. But with the grace of God and with the wisdom of God that God has given unto us, you can sit down and then write. So that is what I do. So I write the idea down. I build the ideas. I sit down for several hours, be writing, be editing. And sometimes, too, uh, I try to, um, uh, how do you call it, post some of my small, small articles our small small um, documents to WhatsApp or to Telegram and it helps in that way. I have a blogging platform called, um, uh, that I use Blogger, we have several blogging platforms that uh, you can use and they are almost all free. We have the WordPress, we have uh, the Blogger, I use the Blogger, we have many many several blogging but I, I use Blogger because Blogger is very 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 easy to use. So. 
You can also use WordPress as well, but I am more in tune to Blogger, blogger.com. So I use Blogger and uh, I publish my articles out there. And before it comes out there, it goes through many, a lot of work. Mm? It goes through several changes, editing, professional editing, reading, writing, setting down. It takes time because if you don't take your time and then write, a valuable content and then edit it very carefully professionally and read out and if you don't take your time child of God is going to uh, mess you around so I have the time I dedicate my time to, to sit down most often I don't have time for, for, for friends so sometimes people might see me this person he's not sociable no it's not I'm not I'm sociable all right but when it comes to my writing it comes to writing I don't joke with my writing uh, Jenny so you have to write and also one thing that has me is that um, I read a lot I also love reading I love reading because I love reading Christian books I also read other books um, self-help books I read um, books that can help broaden my mind so when I read more it also helps me to it shapes my writing skills because I read books by different authors I also analyze their writing style, how they write, their grammar, how they do things. So I pick certain things from them. I learn from their writing style. It helps me in my writing journey. So if you want to become a, a better and a faster writer, you have to love books. You have to be a reader. So I write non-fictional books. Mm? I write non-fictional books. Although I can write fictional books, as time goes and I'm going to write fictional books as well to help in that way. So my main um, uh, as in field is uh, spiritual books or religious books and I do write on other subjects as well. I write uh, wisdom books, self-help books um, that can help you think practically, that can help become resourceful, knowledgeable to make important decisions. I have over 60 books out online out there and by god's grace the books are, are being bought i remember i did a book promotion one of the um online promotion site i got over a thousand downloads within two days i got over a thousand one thousand downloads over two days when i promoted one of my free books on one of the online stores i then score a free booksy i did on free booksy freebooksy.com check on free booksy and other um, online stores that you have to pay before you have to be um, promoted on that online store but i also have my email list i have over a thousand uh, email subscribers i have over a thousand email subscribers on my email list i send them my articles my books and they love my books we have uh, christian channels over hundred thousand um, Christian book readers channels that we also send our books out there they can read the books out there and then it helps so we have many channels on my social media on my Instagram on my Twitter channel I have some followers out there who also love my books and my articles and I have some YouTube channel as well so if you check on my YouTube channel Henry Diodo Apiakran on my Twitter it is called Servant of God GH Facebook Servant of God GH Instagram, Servant of God uh, GH. Uh, so it goes in that way. So uh, you have to build a mindset as a as a writer that you must be determined. Mm? You must be determined at the initial stage. People will not encourage you. Your family will not encourage you. Your loved ones will not encourage you. But be more consistent. It will help you to become a better and a faster writer. So. This is Henry Diodu Apiakran, the author, the best-selling author of uh, How to Work with the Holy Spirit and Spiritual Keys for Life. Uh, check on my blog, www.rockofheaven.com, rockofheaven.com, R-O-C-K-O-F-H-E-A-V-E-N.com, rockofheaven.com, rockofheaven, so R-O-C-K-O-F-H-E-A-V-E-N.com, and then I get my free books and my free articles that can help you become practical in life. So